Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the toy room and today is a very very special video So as you guys may know if you've been following this channel for a while I'm a really really big Toys R Us fan hence why we have Jeffrey the giraffe right over there I have a whole Toys R Us dedicated shelf right down there and um, Toys R Us holds a special place in my heart. I've told the story many times. It was the first job that I've ever had um, It's what got me started into collecting so much more and you know I've been covering all of the news on this channel ever since Toys R Us initially shut down all the way till now where they are starting to reopen So it's like life has come completely full circle but one of my friends, my buddy Keith and Michelle, they uh, actually hit me up the other day and they were in Boynton Beach. Now that is in here in South Florida, that is about 40 minutes north of where I am. I'm in the Fort Lauderdale area, but they were in Boynton Beach over the weekend and they came across an abandoned Toys R Us. It's still in the shape, in the exact condition that it was when it shut down maybe what what's it been like five years now that Toys R Us has been closed more or less maybe six something like that so um this is this is absolutely crazy i am super excited to to go up there and, and do this video uh really quickly i am filming this intro um after the fact so i do want to note that um this video did seem a little bit rushed for one of two reasons one there really wasn't too much to show as far as like what you can see on you know on the surface without physically going into the, the store but the second thing was it there was some signs that said no trespassing so i didn't want to risk it uh you know i was just a little nervous and didn't want to get into any you know trouble with police coming by or anything like that so i went there filmed the video and and left like as soon as i could so um I, I don't know how the video is going to turn out as I'm editing it, but I, I did want to let you guys know that if the video, um, me filming it did seem a little rushed, that's why I was just a little nervous, didn't want to get in any legal trouble um, on the property. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in the car and head over to the abandoned Toys R Us in Boynton Beach, South Florida. All right, it's been a while since I've shown this off on the channel. Not too much has changed since the last video, but I still love this car more and more every time that I see it. So let's go ahead and hit the road. Alright you guys, and here we are. Here is the Toys R Us. Um, it, the, the building's up for lease, which is surprising because this is a pretty busy area. There's a big, a big uh, Chase Bank over here, a Target and Best Buy shopping center over here, and then uh, the Boynton Beach Mall is right over here. So the fact that this building hasn't been bought up yet is pretty shocking, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can see through the glass. Obviously, I'm not going to try and go inside or do anything illegal, but I do just want to peek through the glass and uh, see what we can see. So. Right here is the the main entrance. So probably here is where they would keep the shopping carts. And then here, it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but that's where you would actually walk into the store. And maybe the, actually the shopping carts would be right over there. Um, but yeah, I know there is a big glare. The lights are actually on in here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. So it looks like we have some of the registers over here. Um, but we'll probably get a better look over on this side. So let's go ahead and peek in. I'm gonna try and cover up this glare. There we go, there's the registers. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so maybe a peek in through here and we'll zoom in obviously. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty crazy. So you have the old, um, no, the, actually are those the registers? That actually might be like the baby registry stations, um, but they also might have been the, the registers as well. But man, this is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Just bringing back so many memories. Let's go ahead and get a, a better look over here. Uh, what is this? This actually might get me in trouble. Uh, yeah, so I probably should make this video pretty quickly. I don't want to get in any trouble, but man, look at that. That is insane. Zoom in as much as I can. The fact that there's Still all this stuff, all the remnants of Toys R Us still in here. Here's a close up of the for lease sign if anybody wants to pitch in and uh, buy this building or lease this building with me. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'm just kidding though, I don't have the money for this. Man. Pretty, pretty crazy. Cars driving by just gave me a heart attack but they're just cutting through the parking lot. Man look at that literally untouched there's oh yeah those are the registers those are the register lights right up there oh the feels 
and then right in here can't see too much uh, that area right over there I believe that would have been the electronic section the R zone section right in that corner of the left right there pretty sure that was the R zone section Wow this is a uh, metal loss for words they still have a bunch of shelves and everything that you can see as well this is a uh, it's pretty crazy this would be the exit of the store right through there man so I mean again there's not too much to see but it's still just crazy seeing it all yeah that's definitely the exit over here which leads to this door over this way oh yep there's like a poster or something of the Jeffrey little posters over there that they would put in the windows and whatnot you can see some racks wow this is um this is crazy so honestly there's like i said there's not too much to see but the fact that this toys r us might be one of the only toys r us's left that's been untouched and that you have all this stuff over here is uh pretty insane so i'm gonna walk around this door over here i don't think there's anything i know my toys r us had like a side door right over here um but because this door is here i suspect that this is just the wall on this side and the ramp over here for wheelchairs yeah just like i thought so man this is um this is definitely taking me back now i know there's oh look the old shopping cart sign right over here you can see that right in there as we zoom in the proper way to use the shopping cart for your children oh man man oh man so yeah there's not uh too much else i can say about that um this place is awesome i don't know if i mentioned the sharp shopping cart uh returns right over here but those are even still here which is insanity i don't think they're actually like toys r us branded or anything no they just have the, the shopping cart logos on them yeah pretty pretty awesome stuff right there looks like a lot of people actually cut through this parking lot as you can see i had to stop across the street because um as i was driving away look what i found on the side of the building i don't know if you guys can really make that out right there in the middle of your screen but that is an old toys r us shopping cart now i would go over there and actually look at it but the fact that there's no trespassing signs all over the place uh, i don't want to risk getting in any trouble you know roaming around on the side of the building and i also don't want to leave my car in this parking lot and risk getting it towed or anything like that it's already sketchy enough going over there when it says no trespassing so um yeah old toys r us shopping cart that is pretty cool but yeah man an old toys r us um this is crazy i drove about 40 minutes to come see this but i'm glad that i did because who knows when i'll ever see this again or if this will will even be here next time i'm even up this way so yeah pretty crazy so that is going to do it here from the old abandoned toys r us in boynton beach this is honestly crazy this was such a cool experience even though there wasn't really anything to see uh, granted it is like the remains of toys r us on the inside there there wasn't really anything there except emptiness shelves some old desks and a couple old posters and obviously the remnants of the toys r us sign but yeah this this was awesome so i'm pretty glad that i came down here to check it out even though there really wasn't anything to see but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that links in the description down below i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time